Hi, this is David. Today I'm going to talk about Azure Active Directory B2C. B2C is short for Business to Consumers. And it's used for when you want to implement a security system with a massive amount of users coming from lots of places outside of your organization. Maybe you want to have them authenticate through different providers, not just your own Active Directory. Now, there are a few reasons why you might want to do this. Uh, one is maybe you have a customer and they don't have their subscription or you don't have access to subscription. You want to develop within your own subscription, but you want to have their own little isolated area for implementing the, that security. You can do it there. Uh, perhaps you're on a subscription that has multiple environments, maybe a dev and a QA and a end user testing and production, and you want to keep them isolated so they each have their own set of users and their own set of policies. That might be a reason. Or maybe you want to have a sandbox in which to play around in. So for example, if I go to Azure AD B2C, AD B2C here in mine right here, this is, my, comp my company set this up for me. It's already available, but they control a lot. I don't have any control here. So if I want to learn, I've got to create my own. So let's do that. First thing we do with just about anything in the Azure portal is log in and navigate to portal.azure.com. And um, I've done that already. And then click Create Resources, big plus button. And then I'll search for B2C. This is what I want to create, a new Azure Active Directory B2C. And it gives me some information about it here and something about the pricing and so on. I'll click on Create. And I'm given these two options. I can either create a new Azure AD B2C tenant, or I can link an existing AD B2C tenant to this Azure subscription. Um, now, this second one here is kind of a legacy from the old way of doing things. It used to be you had to first create a tenant, and then you had to link it. And the team has decided that, uh, that since you're probably always going to link it, then it will always be by default. As soon as you create it, it will be linked. So you'll never have to do the second one. The only time you'd ever want to do this is if you had an old tenant that you created a long time ago and you never bothered to link it. Now you decided you want to link it to the subscription. So I'm only going to select this first one, create a new Azure AD B2C tenant. And I get this dialogue right here. I'm at the organization. I'm going to call it GCAST. And the domain name, I'll call it... Uh, uh, Gcast demo. How about that? Uh, I'll put it in the United States. I happen to be in the United States, but you can think about where you want this to be. Maybe where all your users are located might be a good place for it. Uh, if I have multiple descriptions, I'll select that. In the resource group, I'm going to create a brand new resource group, and I'm going to call it Gcast B2CRG. How about that? Okay. And the resource group location, I'll put it in the US, East US right there. Review and create, it'll validate and make sure that I haven't said anything, anything missing or invalid. And then I'll click create. And then it'll go off and it'll create this tenant. This might take a couple of minutes. So I am going to pause the video here and come back when the tenant is created. We are back, it took about two minutes and the tenant is now created. I should point out, by the way, that sometimes when I did this, when I first did this, I got this error message right here. Subscription is not registered to use namespace Microsoft.Azure Active Directory. And I can search for that. And the very first thing that comes up in a Bing search is this article by Adam store.azurewebsites.net, and this talks through how to handle that. You'll need to go into a, a CLI prompt, set your subscription, and register the namespace Active Directory. So I had to do that before I could move forward with any creating new ones here. And once I have this subscription, then I'll need to switch to that directory. And the way that I switch to the directory, I, I called this one, let's see, switch to directory, is I want to go to, it isn't showing up yet, it takes a minute to show up, so let me refresh this page. And it's this one right here, gcastdemo.onmicrosoft.com, the directory name is gcast, and I can switch to that.
And now once I'm in here, now I can go to Active Directory B to C, right there, Azure AD B to C, and I can do things like creating users and creating policies and registering applications, which I will cover in the next video. But for now, I've shown you how to create a new Azure Active Directory B2C tenant using the Azure portal. This is David. Thank you for watching.